Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm back with another one. I'm gonna make some cheesy calabazas. Basically what that is is cheesy squash or cheesy zucchini and I'm gonna pair that with a side of ground beef quesadilla. So here we have our Mexican zucchini. We have our chicken bouillon. Um, I prefer the tomato but I couldn't find it can of corn, some sour cream, some onion, tomato, jalapeno, and you need a lot of cheese. And for the quesadillas, of course, ground beef, tortillas, and cheese. Let's get started, guys. All right, guys, first and foremost, we're gonna wash our vegetables, and we're gonna dice them. And basically these, we're gonna cut all this off it's pretty rough so I mean you don't really want to eat the outside and we're just gonna put them in this hey guys so I'm gonna show you how to cut your zucchini I personally when I eat the inside it has like this I don't know sticky kind of prickly it's just no <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how to peel it so you cut the ends You can use a potato pillar if you prefer. I'm just gonna cut all the green off. It doesn't have to be perfect. And basically, you're just gonna dice it to whatever size that you want it. My hands are washed, make sure you wash your hands. So I like mine not so small. So this is how I'm gonna cut mine. But however you prefer is okay. My meat is almost brown. I did add a little bit of seasoning salt just to give it a little bit of flavor. I'm not gonna put any taco sauce in here due to um, when you put inside the quesadilla, the cheese makes it already salty, so you don't want your quesadillas too salty. Add some oil to my pan. And I'm going to get ready to saute the vegetables. Here are my vegetables all cut up. Now I'm going to throw them in my pan. I got my vegetables in the pan. Now I'm going to let them fry until they get a little bit soft. I'm going to season them with some salt and pepper. I strained my ground beef, now I'm going to put it aside until it's time to make my quesadilla. Alright you guys, so I let my vegetables sit for a while, they are soft, so now I'm going to be adding my other ingredients. You guys, so the first thing that we're going to add is a tablespoon of our chicken bouillon. sour cream our can of corn and I'm going to add some hot water about four cups. Now I'm going to stir this all up. I'm going to let this come to a quick boil. Alright, now it's time to add the cheese.
much cheese as you want. And let that boil. So we got our nonstick pan. We're gonna start our quesadillas. We're not gonna put any oil in this pan. And to start our quesadillas, we have our ground beef tortillas and our cheese. We're gonna start by putting some cheese. My hands are washed. And we're gonna put some ground beef. I'm gonna close it. We're gonna do another one with our cheese and our ground beef. Now we're gonna put in the skillets. We're gonna put our quesadillas in our pan. And you're gonna keep on flipping these until they're nice and brown and your cheese is melted. But don't leave them on too long. It shouldn't take about a couple of minutes, two or three minutes to brown both sides. All right, so my cheese is starting to melt, as you can see. They're almost ready. Guys, now it's time to serve. Here's my quesadilla. I'm gonna put some chile in that. You don't have to, but I prefer and recommend. And then on the side of that, I'm going to have my calabaza. Look how cheesy that is. I'm telling you guys, I put a lot of cheese in here. <laughs> Almost a whole bag if you let me. That, my friends, is cheesy calabazas with a side of ground beef quesadilla. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video.